got here this is the bladder this is the uterus and there's something here what is this this is a clear fluid or has internal echoes it has internal echoes so internal echoes means it can be hematometra or pyometra which is more common hematometra but okay let us see further then i see that this is fluid is tapering and ending here it is not going up to the cervix yes and in the cervix you can see size of the cervix appears to be big because it looks that it is having some mass or so yes hmm so what is the possibility cervical mass like yes malignancy why i am thinking of malignancy reason being you can see that internal loss level the fluid is not extending which means there is an obstruction at the internal loss level and the other thing is there of course flow is too much but flow can also be with myoma yes but the fact that it is causing good, good amount of uh, fluid with internal echoes yes means that probably this is a case of ca cervix with pyometra in such a case we say pyometra because pyometra is commonly seen with cases of ca cervix is it clear to you now most of the cases of ca cervix you know they are not usually diagnosed straight away on ultrasound majority of the times the diagnosis is always there because with pap smear and all that the diagnosis has already been made the objective of ultrasound is usually to see for complications or extensions like with ultrasound i'll see whether it has extended into the bladder or whether it is invading the junctions vesicolytic junction at the base of the bladder in that case you will find bilateral hydronephrosis or whether it has gone posteriorly and gone into the rectum in that case what you can do you can put a saline and enema in that case what will happen there will be fluid here posteriorly and you can see whether any mass is going into the rectum or so yes so with the saline and enema you can even make out the posterior extension 